Hello everyone and welcome to Treasure Chest Tuesday. So we're in August and if you're feeling like you're in a pressure cooker, you're right on track. So we are building it towards the lunar eclipse on August 7th, which I believe is a new moon, don't quote me, but also the big one, the solar eclipse on August 21st. So there is a huge amount of energy coming in for us. We've asked for it, we've prayed for it, we've been available to it. It's fantastic and it is bumping up against personal and collective places within us that need to be resolved so we can receive these energies. This is not the first time we've spoken in this way for sure, but here we are. And the, just the intensity of things in each one's field seems to be dialed up is a, is a good way to put it. It just feels like things are closer, more in your ear, in your face, seemingly. So I want you to learn how to work with that so it can you can feel like you can back it off when you need to. But here is the song, besides my birds, I'm letting them sing today for you. Usually I close the door so you don't have to hear them, but today I wanted you to hear them because they are very comforting for a lot of people. So the song of the week, they gave it to me again. Here it goes, a one, a two, a three. So if you didn't believe the Beach Boys then, <laughs> and all this time, believe me now. <laughs> this is the energetic anchor that we need at this time, for all time actually, is that sense, don't worry baby. So I want you to sing that song in your heart, especially not your head, in your heart to your parts within you that are feeling freaked out, the parts within you that are feeling shut down, lack of motivation, a sense of helplessness, anger, whatever it is. Sing that song to your parts so they feel soothed with the safety and the comfort that all is well. Everything is going to work out regardless of what it might look like on the surface in this moment. For you to be able to receive the larger energies, you have to have a landing pad, an energetic anchor within you that says all is well. Everything is going to work out. So I have room to receive the fertilizer, the deep soil of the universe to give me the greater foundation for the confidence of moving forward with the intensity of these energies giving birth to greater parts of you versus feeling like it's burying you and putting you a eight feet under, so to speak. Now you're also going to sing this song, Don't Worry Baby, Everything's Going to Be Okay and All Right, to the world and your world. The world is actually your world. And sing that to the world. Let me give you an example of what I uh, was playing with the other day to um, bring to, to, to light how this works, okay? So, um, it was the day, the morning of, yeah, the morning of after the health care bill did not pass once again, I believe it was fr last Friday, it did not pass again, so it was pretty dead. So I had this feeling of elation. This is not a political issue. This is a human rights issue. Our right to have health care and be taken care of in this life, collectively, okay? So I was thrilled, but that's a big energy. Something turning, something that's been worked with. 
At the same time, there was no accident that in the Baltimore, Maryland area, which is sort of like the back, the back street boys, the uh, back alley of, or the uh, suburb of Washington, D.C., huge thunderstorms, lightning, and you name it. And my daughter happened to be flying into that airport and trying to get out of that airport. So I had that churning theoretically, and I'm saying churning theoretically, that was in motion in my field. I also had just learned of two people who were friends of mine whose friends had committed suicide, one the night before and one a couple days before that. Okay, Just as a few examples of the amount of stuff that is dramatic, that is life altering, that is close to the heart that um, I was aware of. Not to mention all the other stuff that goes on with uh, clients and you name it, okay? So what do I do with that? Besides singing, don't worry baby, to that part of me that was like, ha, 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 this is, you know, I can't take any more. It's like, wait, you don't have to take on any more. This is one of the biggest myths we deal with. And I'm going to be working with this in the upcoming immersion on being at home on earth in your own, being at home in your, <laughs> being at home on earth in your galactic skin, your universal skin, I'll get it right. I am so sorry. Being at home on earth in your universal skin. Can you tell we changed the title a few times? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be talking about these things, how to work creatively with this feeling of impingement. But in that moment, what I did is I could feel like, whoa, there's this thing here and there's that thing there and there's this thing here, all in my field. What am I going to do with that? So I could get onto hypervigilance and feel like, oh my gosh, I have to just hold it for everybody. I have to be the anchor for everybody. No, I don't. No, I don't. There's a bigger anchor. I just need to generate the energetic anchor within myself. And I'm using this, this phrase, don't worry, baby. Everything's going to be all right. As a part of the anchor, I want you to hold in your heart and in your abdomen this week to start to build that now. So what did I do? I thought, oh, I could just be micromanaging all these things and aware of them. I can put them in my field, bless them, you're here, you're here, you're here. And I went and had my aerial dance class, which I had scheduled anyway. And I went, no, not just I'm going to take care of myself kind of thing, you know, screw all that, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to do what life compels me to do right now to strengthen my inner anchor, my energetic anchor and feel really good about life moving through my body. And then that's the energy I am sending forth to all the people, all the situations involved. And they are like fruits ripening on the tree so that magical things can come out of these situations instead of me trying to compress my energy around them to make them safe, make them all work out, make sure it's all okay. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Okay? Don't worry, baby. Everything is all right. And we can know that in the largest sense possible as it relates to our planet, our existence, to love, to life, everything. It is all working out. Just because our pea brains don't see it, doesn't mean it's not happening. So let the intensity build while you're holding this anchor so the intensity has a place to land softly, calmly within you and you're not pushing it away because you can't take any more of that intensity from out there. You're also not available to take in the intensity of the new energies coming in that are going to birth so much with this solar eclipse as you are available for it in your heart and in your cells. So I'm with you tremendously and the whole universe is with you. It's so important to remember don't worry baby means you're not alone, the universe is with you and 
you can start to open your heart to trust humanity more as well that there are more people than you realize on the same page with you wanting it to work out wanting the best for you and everybody involved that life may flourish there isn't an enemy out there and you're it's you against the enemy and you against a force trying to impinge upon your sense of sanity don't worry baby let the energies of love safety true security come on in and join you to create the magic that you know is possible and I know is possible for you so let me know what songs are happening for you this week and how you are handling the amazing nature of the increase of the energetic movement of our amazing, amazing, amazing universe coming in to assist us more clearly and deeply. Much love to each one of you.